Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to apply your custom animations to people's avatars in your game. Um, basically what that means is when people run and jump and walk around, you know, it's going to be the animations you made. You can apply your animations to their characters. So for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend like I created a new game. Really, I'm just going to a place I've never touched. So here we are. This is basically the place we're putting animations in. Now, there's one important thing you must uh, make sure you've done is you've gone to game settings. This right here is very important. You want to make sure your avatar type is R15, obviously, because the animate well, it can be R6 too if you made the animations for R6, but we're using R15 because that's what we made our animations for. All right, we've done that. And one more important thing to do. You want to make sure that the animation type is standard. That way, our animations overwrite animations that are already there instead of the player choice taking over. There we go. Now everything should work. Now the next step you want to do, you want to test your game. This is a very important step. Once you're inside of the game, you're going to go into Workspace. You're going to go into the model with your username on it. Scroll down and find the Animate. You're going to copy it. And you're just going to stop the test. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go into Starter Player, into Starter Character Scripts, you're going to paste the script into there. Double click the script to open it. You want to have this open and you also want to open the script. I do this just for organization, but I'd go ahead and open any animations you want to change as well. Run, walk, fall, idle, and jump. These are all the animations I'm going to change with the ones I have made. We're going to go back to the website, you click create, and then you scroll down to the animation. Assuming you've made and uploaded animations already, they should all be here. I'm going to start by taking the idle animation. To do this, click on your idle animation, copy those numbers that were in the link. Now you're going to go down here, you're going to go into idle. Replace all those numbers with the numbers you put in. You're going to also want to do it here. This is very important. When you put the animations in the properties, you're going to want to make sure you press enter after putting in the ID. Otherwise, it does not save. The, the, what you put in. So you're going to want to press enter. I made that mistake and it wasn't too fun. And then you press enter and it applies it. There you go. So we've replaced the idle animation. Now we have to do walk, run, jump, and fall using the same steps. You can go ahead and skip this. This is just going to be me putting everything in.
now that you have replaced all the animations you want to replace, you can simply go ahead and test the game again. Assuming you've followed everything, it should be the animations you have made, and as you can see, these are completely original animations I made myself. And they are working fully in Roblox. One important note for the walk animation, you're going to want to make sure you put in a script in the game that basically allows you to walk and run. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it, obviously. So if you want to be able to see your walk animation, you're going to need a script that allows you to walk. But um, I'm not going to waste time putting that in. Basically, that's all you do. It's really easy. It's really simple. It was a lot easier than it looked, I'm sure. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to inform you guys, and um, hopefully this helped.